check, check. Okay, um, this is, let's see, Silver Leaf Gaming with Storm King Thunder Part 7. I have forgotten that last session was Part 6 and call it Part 5. Boy, I feel silly. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're back here on Storm King Thunder. We are going to, you know, we just cleared out the, the, the giants and uh, the, the ogres and the goblins are being used as bullets, sort of. Projectiles, rather. And now the the city is saved. And then I'm guessing you guys want to get... Um, what do you want to do now? I should ask. Well, um... um you go first. Yeah, I'm just thinking that, like, city so safe, so maybe we should turn back to the citizenry. Y'all okay? Are you talking to, like, everyone, or just, like, just the ones, like, the like the people that you are, like, Weezang and Chalvis and people like that? Are you talking to Jerry? Well, the, pe the people who fought with us. Yeah. Just like a second. <clears throat> Okay, Miros is like, uh, mm. yes, I believe I believe I am okay. Thank you very much. That was rather scary. I have to admit. Yeah, nothing quite like seeing a bunch of giants bearing down on you. Got to admit. Though I am also quite amazed at what has happened here. You are all very powerful fighters, and that tree is not to be underestimated. I believe his name was Wifrus. That's what I believe. You can... Yeah, he's the real hero. Yeah, okay. those Give trees us. are great, terrifying. <laughs> Give us platforms. <laughs> I do believe that we should uh, tell the other townsfolk of our deed. Maybe they have. Maybe they would probably be very grateful for what we did. Yeah, that's pretty true. That was Jade said. Jade said that. So, but Jade yeah, voice. and uh, yeah, I figured it was Jade's thumbs up yeah. to that. Potentially get rewarded for our efforts. Potentially. <laughs> Always down for that. I'm, and then uh, so I'm gonna say, like, if you guys want to move your characters anywhere, anywhere, it's fine. But like. I'm gonna say that right, right now. Uh, oh, Brutalis is still here somehow. somehow. Mm -hmm. He's not talking. That's all. Okay. Well, that's because other people are talking. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I might be an asshole, but I ain't rude. No, no. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> you said you would be late. That's all. I just never mind. I didn't know how late was late. <laughs> yes. Do you want to shrink back to your non regular size, or do you want to just stay as as is? Ah, Brutalis is staying full size for a little bit. Just asking. Yeah, um, I was going to say, you, you picked up that weapon. I don't think, or was it a weapon you picked up? Uh, yes, picked his big-ass giant-sized giant hammer. Yes. Yeah, that ain't going to shrink. No. <laughs> I mean, it's a part of your, your equipment. Wouldn't it just shrink with you? Technically, That's Yes. Cool. That's the whole point of it, though. It's 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 supposed to be big ass hammer. It's supposed to be my Mjolnir. Only well, I can wield true. it. Well, it can be baby Mo Mjolnir. <laughs> baby Mjolnir. I feel like I feel like there would be a, like a time, a time frame after you get something that you have to attune to it. Because yeah. You can't just like you can't just like pick up. You can't just like steal your enemy's sword, then grow big and drop it on him. That, that shouldn't be how it works. Here's your sword back. Here's, Here's your sword, sword back! back. <laughs> well, the thing is, this hammer was given to me by that cloud giant, so it was already a giant-sized hammer. I don't see the problem of you tuning into it so you can just treat down by chuck it down with you, though. Mm, yeah. Matter of principle, damn it. <laughs> okay, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he gave you, like, a regular hammer. <laughs> yeah, but, a regular but, hammer for giant. Yeah. Which means a big-ass fucking it's hammer. It's not a regular hammer, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it should be considered a war hammer. Well, who pounds on pounds and nails of a war hammer? Uh, comparatively speaking. 
Probably Thor. It's a fucking Boblin the Goblin. It's a it's a Warhammer to Boblin. Look, I have two 40k fans. If I hear the word Warhammer one more time, <laughs> you're all gonna regret that I healed from my ear infection. I'm sorry. Oh, hang on, let me let me let me let me just share the picture that was in the shitpost channel earlier today. Oh okay. my god. Oh, where was it? Where was it? Oh no, it was it not shitpost. No, here it is. This is this is it. This is it. Posting and coping uh, memes. No, it's not in copian memes. It was in the other Discord. Hang on, I'm going to send it. And that's what I'm saying. I can send it there. Yeah. <laughs> that's quite funny, though. Mm hmm. Let's see, what did you post in the other thing? It is. Well, it, was, it wasn't me that posted it. It was someone else who, who um, showed it to me. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Ouch. Fuck, it didn't work. Never mind. Dot J fifth. Uh that's a format I, I haven't seen in a hot seen... minute. My name's <laughs> Fifth. I have never seen that extension before. What? I don't know why that happens. It's just... just trying to um give you some peanut butter. Oh my god! <laughs> oh I hate okay, here we go. Dungeons and Dragonian Dra Dragon Dra Dragoning four thousand seventh edition. Seventh edition. Yeah, Dungeons uh, the Dragoning. In the grim darkness uh, of the... Oh, this thing, okay. That, Thank you, Paladin. Only more. Fixing I that. hate myself. I long <laughs> that. It, it, the miracles of Control-C, Control-V. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God himself gave me that power. I Which, mean... <laughs> it's extra funny, because I am an ordained minister. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> definitely. That's definitely cool. And you're also a paladin. That's 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 just that's funny. You're damn right. <laughs> In the name of God Himself, I smite thee. The oath of the loophole paladin. <laughs> the loophole paladin. <laughs> Stop giving me ideas. Let me finish my current ones. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Why does your smites do necrotic damage? Uh, no reason. <laughs> she, the great lord himself up above, God bless his soul. Wait. Gave me the unique ability to do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> <laughs> Aether is just gonna slowly turn. And you know he's what? He's gonna shake his head, and then he's just gonna slowly turn back to whatever he was at. I know, but he was just. He was joking around. That wasn't because out of character. Oh no! Trust me, there's a joke to that. It'll come up later. Okay. <laughs> Brutalis is. I'm changing Brutalis's accent. Sorry for the continuity fuck up, folks. Oh no, he's southern. Oh no, he's southern. <laughs> now. Uh, See, either... this is hearkening back to Duck the Paladin. He is my Southern Baptist oath of redemption. Good old country boy, corn fed and fucking beer bred. Him, what Vezel. did you just say? I mean, just because you're from the Golden Fields doesn't mean you have to talk like you're from it. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're in it right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> we're in Golden Fields right now. <laughs> uh, oh, man, anyways. Um, I'm gonna... I'm not sure who should give you the award, you know? Cause I don't, there's no actual mayor in this area. Probably Miros, then. Miro's will probably be the acting mayor. How's that sound? I think Shree is probably the mayor. The Shree's the mayor? No, how <laughs> I mean, would he give money? the oldest work. guy here. Yeah, true, but how would he give money? <laughs> Branches. Or his kids. <laughs> your money. Or his so I, guess, I guess for once, money does grow on trees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, That's yeah, perfect. They're all debating that. Brutalis is just going to hop the wall. There you go. Okay. Just hops the, the twenty foot tall wall. Yeah, because he can do that because he's a giant because he's awesome. Is he twenty foot tall? Yes, oh, no. uh, twenty foot four. Okay, so he you can't what? forget those extra four inches. You are damn right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't forget the most important. And uh, <laughs> who said they're on his height? What? No, what to say? I mean, it was another joke. I know, but I didn't hear it. 
Talking about twenty foot four. Uh, who said those four inches were on his height? <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Pain, oh, okay. Suffering and quite possibly agony. I'm not sure what makes four centimeters so impressive, but okay. Oof. It's gonna hurt so mm. <laughs> You know what? It's, actually it's about how you use it, not what you got. <laughs> he waves. <laughs> I'm, now I'm happy you to use punch it. my mic. Anyways, Listen, you, you keep um, talking like that. I got a big ass hammer that's got your name on it. Miro is uh, just. Oh um, God, I'm going to just have myself. Miro's head back to. Um, <laughs> Wait, what was the name of the inn again? I gotta look again. Excuse me. Cause it was it was something. Uh, da, 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 da. it is the North Furrows. Yes. North Bur Furrows. Yeah, that's right. North Furrows End. Yeah. I had to look back through my notes too. Yeah, I had to look through my notes again. <laughs> yeah. uh, Miros goes like, uh, "Well, that was a, uh, I'd say, a job well done." I'm going to have to give you something for your efforts. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but I'm actually the acting mayor of this of this city. No kidding. Impressive, sir. Uh, what would you wish you say to this? <laughs> I'm just curious. That was, that was what I, that was what I uh, said for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would believe a man of your stature would be more than adequate as a mayor. Is that like Lucius, I think? Is that good? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You could say that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Lucius takes you all back to North Frost End. There's going to be some fear of mine stuff because uh, I don't have an area for everything. Yeah. Uh, imagine um, Brutalis stays outside, but. Unless he wants to actually strength down and get, get a drink or something, because he's... <laughs> oh, wait, he doesn't drink alcohol, I don't think, right? Nope. That's right, he doesn't. <laughs> we can give we can give him a root beer, so he's like one of the little kids at the barbecue. Oh my god, <laughs> perfect! Because, like, <laughs> wait, what's, what's root beer made of again? Like, uh, it's like it's, it, 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 it. That's a good question, actually. Let me, let me find out. It is a weird sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla? I, I don't know where Sarsaparilla is from. Uh, like, is Son that... Of... It's from Sassafras. I... What's Sassafras? Is that from a tree? Uh, it, it, yeah, it's a tree, actually. The root, <laughs> bark of the, the root bark of the Sassafras tree. What if it was from Wifferus? That Oh, that would be... Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. But that's why it's called the name Sassafras. <laughs> He's like, don't tell, don't tell them how it uh, came to be. Well, yeah, that is why it's called root beer, because they boil clippings of the roots of this tree to get the sugar. Yeah, I mean, he, he doesn't mind the fact that people make markings and stuff like that, and then or, or anything like that. Like, he doesn't, as long as, like, no actual harm comes to him, he's not going to hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. or, or him, him, or him or the city, by there. You put one of those tree tappers in the side, it's like you're taking a blood sample. Kind of, yeah, exactly. He does not mind. He is he is a he's even bigger than Drutal, I say in the way. I imagine he sounds like the Deku tree. You know what? Just for that, I think he would. <laughs> <laughs> but which one? Um Classic Ocarina of Time. Alright. <laughs> I I kinda of, I can of, can kinda of see it actually. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Miro takes you all back to the north north um, Furl's end. He treats you all the drinks. For a job well done, and you hear a, a, a large click, a, a large a ding sound. Like, 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 how I see it, not a ding. It's more like a. You, you hear coins being, like coin, like, like that coin in a sack sound. Where it just like goes jingling, jingling, jingling. You hear you hear coins jingling, as he places a big bag, right down on the counter right next to you guys. This is for saving us all. And free drinks on the house for the rest of the day. Oh, you're mighty kind. Thank you. The fact that he said day and said it's just like week or anything. Like, he, he still has to earn business. Yeah, he has to make money. He has to make money. Yeah. 
still, so. saving the city is a pretty big reward, a big, big thing to do, you know, so. Oh, yeah. It's shiny me like he. <laughs> and so, here's what he gave you to divide amongst yourself, of course. 500 oh, yeah. gold. Woo! Ooh. It's like a 100 each. Yeah, uh, Brutalis doesn't like, doesn't like having money, right? Yeah, no, Brutalis doesn't give a flying rat's ass about money. I mean, so uh, the hundred, the hundred each still counts towards um all of us, yeah. All of us, yeah, so that's a twenty-five each. If we split from his, well, Jake gets a hundred. She just needs to she's like, oh yeah. So it's just a hundred each. So okay. Like, uh, right. Jade still needs to buy stuff. She needs ar better armor and stuff, like all that kind of things. I mean, actually, she doesn't really need armor, but it's more the fact that it's just the. She'll probably need better weapons and her things, you know, stuff like that. Mm. But, you know, uh, this is your point to um, go and, and go shopping and get things made and all that other stuff. Like, this Thanks is you know. your sort of like your rest period part of the, of the of adventure. Like, not everything's going to be action adventure kind of thing. This is like, like, this is like your rest stop kind of thing. Because you just saved a whole city. Yeah, five hundred gold to spend. Rather, uh, you gotta split these with that amongst yourselves, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you got a bunch of stuff you can probably buy from all the, the, the town folk and such. Do you wish to do so? Yes, I think so. Just not sure what to buy. <laughs> well, I need to go to the forge. Yeah, that's right. And that was make that can... shield and mask. Yeah, the shield mask. So, what kind of sh shield? Like, how, like, what be like a plus one shield or? I Dragon well, shield. I mean, if if we're going by the crafting rules that I have, and don't worry, those will be posted soon. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it is a plus one shield that gives you resistance to the dragon's breath weapon type, and since it was from a black dragon, that would be acid. All right. So, how much would you think that would cost to make? Given that you already give them have the materials, that is. Okay, since I've got the materials, that would cost to cut the cost down substantially. So since let me just do a little bit of quick math here. Yes. <laughs> now, as you can imagine, this place does have a forge, and it does have. I mean, it, 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 it like all the basic stuff. Like it, it's not just. It's a, it's a large city for a reason. It's got all, all the basics. You, it would definitely all right. Them. With the basic math that I have just run through, this is going to cost two hundred and fifty gold pieces. That means we're going to have to, like, uh, some of us will probably have to um, chip in with, from with our own with our own. Oh, absolutely not! I have enough. Oh, you do? Really? Okay. I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's just gonna pay for it all. Nice. Yep. She was saving her money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, we don't know if the, we don't know if the people who own the forge will give us a discount at all for saving the town. They probably might a little bit, but yeah, you know, not, nothing big. But hey, if we can shave like ten gold pieces off, that ain't bad. Yeah, I imagine they might give you like a discount of fifteen gold pieces at the very oh, least. Oh shit! Considering all that, right, so yeah, so it would be so minus that, so be it would be. 235. 235 gold pieces. Yep. So, to the forge! Alright, and uh, Jade falls along because, like, she's more than curious to see what, what's all going to happen. She's mm -hmm. looking at the others. Well, I do believe since we've saved everybody, it's kind of nice that we get to relax for a bit. Yeah, it's nice to have a second to breathe. I agree. And what is uh, <laughs> uh, was I agree from uh, Ulysses? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to like change the tone of voice depending on which character. What does uh, your your character say though? Um, uh, probably something along the lines of like, eh, it feels kind of weird to be treated like a hero. I've just kind of been treated cr like crap though my whole life, so. It's kind of a nice change of pace. <laughs> Jade, um, 
chuckles a little bit at hearing that. <laughs> More of the fact what, that... What, you think my suffering is funny? No, I think it's it's funny because I happen to have gone through mostly the same thing. Well, people, cool. People didn't really like the way I looked. Ah. Same. Uh, I relate, Aether, girlfriend. Yeah. Aether's <laughs> just gonna kind of pipe up here. He's just gonna say, sometimes people don't care about your looks, but you still feel like an outcast. Is, is that just me? No, I don't think it's always just you. But let's be fair here. I think you're fucking adorable. I'm just gonna <laughs> ruffle Evergreen's hair. Just. <laughs> 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 too much too soon <laughs> is she here my little friend this is the goblin version of second base if anyone stands out <laughs> oh, here god. oh no she's <laughs> just gonna reach over and pet her head too fuck it <laughs> quiet it's too much love for one day <laughs> it's bad. It's like it's like the Mega Mind part of that very end. It's like, stay back, you savages! <laughs> God, Mega Mind is such an underrated movie. It is. I love that movie. Like, I saw that when I was a kid, and I thought it was good. Obviously, because kids will think most anything is good. But God, it was. It's one of my favorite. Even movies. watching ooh, it as ooh. an adult, well, young adult. But yeah. Also, straight up, straight up. If you can play Mega Mind in Dungeons and Dragons super easily. I'm Vidal gonna have to ask about that at some point. <laughs> a Vidalkin Battlesmith Artificer. Your mechanical guard or whatever is just um Minion. 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 And then you can have like a little fish bowl as its head and put your oh familiar God. as a goldfish inside the bowl. Ah, nice. Some kind of artificer. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. How did you have this already figured out? Is this something you've he, asked he, before? It's been it, he, he's he's done it before as one of his TikToks. Also, this is just something I do as a hobby. Now, every time I have to convince people that Olo is a traditional Vidalcan greeting. <laughs> <laughs> I like going to shul. <laughs> I go shul with my friends. Oh wait, I don't have any friends. Oh, they need to rewatch that movie. I oh my god. need to rewatch that movie. It's a oh fun my god. movie. Here, here, hang on, I gotta find this video for you guys because it's the funniest hit. Have you all seen the Button of Doom? Yes, the Button oh, of Doom. Oh yeah, that's. Oh hang on, you yeah, guys will love DVDs it. were a thing. You could buy that in like a bundle with Mega Mind itself. And yeah, and Button of Doom was basically the thing that happened after. <laughs> hang on, hang on, you guys will love this. Check it out, it's funny as shit. Oh boy. We do laugh. Make that Scooby Doo laugh? Oh no. I'm gonna play it. You were oh lord. I'll always be a villain. <laughs> I, I physically recoiled. I am back in my chair. I will not recover for the rest of the night, and this is your fault. <laughs> It's all on recording, too, now. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I wish there was a way we could, like, edit the video into the actual recording. I wish we could, I, but I'm not going to be waiting. My is flat against my reclined DS <laughs> racer chair. <laughs> and three. <laughs> that was kind of... Oh, man, that's perfect. <laughs> I hate how well it fits. It does fit too well, honestly. It sh it shouldn't. Yes. Who? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, so right now I'm going to return all the NPCs back to their homes. Oh, yeah, what homes. the fuck are we doing? Oh, yeah, one thing I was going to say, uh, while I'm, like, trying to shoo away uh, uh, Brutalis from, uh, like, petting my head, I want to say, like, I accidentally cast Vigilant Blessing on him. Which means, like, next combat he'll have advantage on, uh, initiative. <laughs> you accidentally bless someone. She's just, like, desperate to get his finger off her head or something. Yeah. Now, Aether's also petting her head, by the way. <laughs> does, she, does she also get advantage? <laughs> no, I can only do one person at a time, sadly. 
Uh, yeah, Cerveza is a wo- Cerveza is a woman. She's having fun. I I want to like you know eventually do it with uh, give everyone like vigilant blessing at least once. But <laughs> they trying to find like a way to do that in the story. Yeah, amazing. Uh, so all you are at the at the forge. I can't think of a, a good NPC who would be doing this. Oh yeah, right. Um, a oh, goblin God, named Boblin. How Wait. much would this cost? I want to get, like, two... I- I'm going to walk up to the blacksmith, all right? I'm trying to think of a good name for the blacksmith. Um... Oh, hello, my name's Ian Ravencroft. How can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make it... I was gonna make a I was gonna make a Isaac's of con- uncle, but he just fine. Don't ask why I didn't help the time so folk. <laughs> uh, yeah. Isaac's uncle be what? I welcome to Grandma's friendly forge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I get it, because you're making the because yeah. yeah. the forge you mentioned. <laughs> oh, I okay. thought you were talking about Triance's is like. <laughs> Welcome to the Triots Fours. I left a group of dumbass adventurers. <laughs> what no, that'd like? be even better. Like, let's make that Triots. Yeah, oh yeah, it's Triots. It's Triots. Okay, so <laughs> no, I'm, like, I'm not sure you don't don't know Triots. I, I I don't. Know if that, it's a it's it's someone from a campaign that me and Dan we um we, um King are part of. All right. Yeah. And it's the other podcast. Yeah, and and. Kevin. No. Treons was one of the other characters that a member named Bjorkus made up, uh, who's Teethling uh, Artificer, and nice. she bas- and she basically sacrificed herself to save everybody at oh. the party, brother. That's nice, I guess. Now just imagine if she ended up here <laughs> instead. Oh, <Lord. laughs> I actually like that idea. Like that's my new headcanon for this. Is that's where she ended up? <laughs> she didn't go to hell. She didn't go to hell. She went to the Thor coast. Do you know that <laughs> meme of Dante from Devil May Cry uh, standing, um, like, looking what over... What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Yeah, looking <laughs> over a Minecraft background. What the yeah. hell is this? What the hell is this? I love that meme. That meme was amazing. Uh, they've done that before for a bunch of Smash Bros. characters that people didn't yeah. want. <laughs> There's like other Smash Brothers that are not Dante. They're not or, Dante. What the hell is this? Or his, re- or his reaction when he's a me costume. When he's a me costume, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> meme costume one is the best. Where they replaced him with his with the me costume version. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, there's a me costume version of that, that meme? Of no, Dante. He, uh, yeah, of Dante in... Dante got a me costume added to Smash. No, in doing like... so, they had to add a model for that costume. Somebody went into the files, ripped the model, and then made the meme version of it, except that they replaced Dante with me suit Dante. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, so, um, it's Treance. <laughs> Should I just, right. uh, you, so, so what, what, what did you... You do you, the impression. I'm of gonna that. like go up to her and just explain my idea for like the the like elemental gauntlet things to modify my uh, uh what the fuck is it called? Long arm strikes or radiant just... bolt or whatever something. Sun soul. Uh, I imagine range that... attack. Oh yeah, something that it does probably... radiant damage. <laughs> How am I forgetting its name? It's like the main gimmick of my subclass. It's... Radiant Sunbolt! Radiant, Radiant Sunbolt. Sunbolt, that, yeah. I'm gonna explain the idea of like having gauntlets with those scales embedded. I need the gauntlets before I can embed the scales, so I'm gonna ask how long it would take to make and how much it would cost to make. Well, that's a. I think Dan would have to come up with that because, like, uh, he's he's better at this stuff than I am. Oh, don't worry. I can I can run the stats for this. But if you want the base gauntlet that can hold the fragments of the scales, I would say because I need one gauntlet for each hand so that it'll work for each hand. I would say fifty per gauntlet that you made, and then an additional 50 to have the enchantment set into them. Oh god, I have a whole 65 gold pieces. 
Well, you should have more than that because you got a hundred for the uh, quests. So. Yeah, you did. Oh, okay. Then yeah, I'll just like give her a hundred gold and have her make those gauntlets. Mm -hmm. And I, w I want Dan to, you know, do his best Trion's impression, please. <laughs> oh, hello there. What can I do for you? Uh, hi. Socially, uh, I I need something made. I need something made. It, it's it, gauntlets that can hold element or items of elemental affinity, so that those items could inflict my attack with their corresponding elements. Is that possible? Brutalis is gonna jump in here. You see, what my friend here is saying is they want some little fist gloves that they can stick little stones in so that way their hits hit a little bit harder. Well, let's, I can put dragon scales in to make cool things happen. Well, they is, this, yeah. is that better? That. I'm resisting the urge to make a Thanos reference right now. Yeah, potato, <laughs> tomato, shame. I mean, difference. I literally call them magical Trinity Gauntlets, so, you know. Well... We just call them elemental I Gauntlets. Can, I can certainly mm -hmm. do that. It's, um, a bit more expensive. Do you have the scales themselves, or will you be adding them later? We... I don't have the scales themselves. That I cuts down on the cost. Okay. So, I'm just going to draft the numbers, and I'm going to include that minus 15 discount because of Save the Town. Yep. That will be 175 gold pieces for two. 175? Uh... Cerveza hands them four platinum. Ooh. Why? That's because that's equivalent to 40 gold pieces. Oh. Uh, then, okay, then that's all of my gold and one of the platinum I was just given. Thank you. Is there anything else I can craft for you? Not that I can think of, no. I got a shield that I want to make into, uh, well, I got a, rather a scale I want to turn into dragon shield. Very well. 235 gold pieces. Oh, thank you, that'd be super! Absolute ripper, you are. I'm sorry, I don't speak redneck. <laughs> now you listen here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak Australian redneck. Well, that's more like it. Thank you for correcting yourself. <laughs> but they, Australia doesn't exist in either of those planes, though. They don't need to know that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, can you turn this remaining bit into a Mac? Whatever for. And I'm just going to pick up Evergreen. And just hold her in front of I mean, you can just point, you know. <laughs> Pointing's rude, Jade says. <laughs> okay, picking you up's a little bit funnier. Most. What am I, the well, team mascot? Very, I mean, very well. I almost that will be that... another 10 gold pieces. And uh, I'll just take the ten gold officer days as well. I so we are we are cleaning up. I rather like that Triant just ended up here. <laughs> so funny! <laughs> it really it's is. A worth, it is a worthwhile fate. It's worthwhile. Like she's she's living in peace technically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come back Alex. tomorrow and they'll be done. As you just you just see her hand off the materials to this uh, this uh, mechanical clockwork knight. Oh, that's right. But then we didn't we have it. She built a new one. She, she built a new one exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that would stop her. That would not stop her. <laughs> so yeah, we all see this big mechanical, um, uh, like robot like um, knight just ha get handed the materials. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Vitalis is then going to chime in and just sort of drop his hammerhead with a hefty thud. And now, I, I have a bit of a favor to ask. Now, yeah. I'm broke, 
because I think money is a waste of time. But, is there anything you can do to my trusty hammer here? That'll make it hit a little bit harder? I'm willing to trade services for services for goods. If not, I can um, pay for my friend, Jade says. I'll tell you what. The garbage in the back needs to be taken away. If you can do that for me, I'll see what I can do. Consider it done. She fucking murdered someone, didn't she? <laughs> With that voice. Oh, that would be definitely. That is the least of her sins, let's be real. Yeah, yeah. She's, 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 she's lawful evil. <laughs> like, you, you dig in the. You know, just, this is a very awkwardly stuffed bag. I believe he used to be a rogue. Oh my god! <laughs> so if you didn't if you didn't know what this was, um, um, and, and 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 Paladin, uh, in the old podcast, before I was introduced, there was a rogue character that was only in, only in one session. Disappeared like immediately after, and nobody knew what happened. Yeah, <laughs> so that's that's the joke. Okay. Yes. Because one of your characters was a, was a rogue too, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's it's whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it it just it's just it's just we're just joking around about the old po- the other podcast, which is hilarious. Honestly, it's 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 fun to think that like Trion's ended up here instead of <laughs> in hell. Like she's leaving a peaceful existence. She's just not in that plane of existence anymore, you know? Yeah, she wouldn't, she probably wouldn't care less about the people back in where she was from. Absolutely <laughs> not. Like, she, she just yeah. does not give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is their world to end. Homo yeah. was very reasonable. Yeah. I mean, he did technically take her away from her world, but heck, maybe, maybe he's the one that planted her in, in, in here. Or maybe it was just by chance that she just sent him, like, like, instead of being sent to hell, like, she got, like... <laughs> what if she, like, sort of, like, made a deal with him again and then, like, say... I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. Like, I'm just thinking, like, possibly as to why she ended up here. That's all. But that's that's a necessary thought right now. I think that I'm just going to move and do whatever. <laughs> I think completely different. What? I don't know what to say. I said, and now for something completely different. Now for something completely different. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, so where do you want to go next uh, while you're waiting for those things to be made? Well, what else do we want to do while we're here? Did people... I don't remember if you said anything about, like, did people want like quests to be done or something? Yes, there are people who want quests to be done, and I actually have a few of them uh, Sweet. Uh, up right now. If you want, Sweet. you could do Miros' quest. You'd have to go back to the Golden Gulp, uh, I mean, not the Golden Gulp, the, the North Furl's End Inn. Sure. Cool, let's do it. Prote- like, <laughs> for character reasons, I'd say you you go there because you want to relax, go out, get a drink, something like that. He, he did just say you get drinks for a whole day. I like money. <laughs> I like money. <laughs> Ethan That's looks her motivation. Once more and just just shakes his head slightly. Dear Lord. That that's all he says. That's all he says. Okay. <laughs> all he says. Just, just to me, her. <laughs> no, it's just he he doesn't even say it to her specifically. He just looks in her direction. And mutters, dear God, to himself, whether anybody was in earshot enough to hear it, that's your call. Perception checks. Do <laughs> you want that? Is that's, that's cool. I don't know. It's up, it's up to you if you want to do that or not. <laughs> All right. Who has the balls? Okay. I guess who has the dice? The dice. That's probably the best. Who has the, the dice? <laughs> dice. <laughs> not Brutalis. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. When your balls are determined by your dice roll, what? You got a grudge point, by the way. <laughs> oh, 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 you did get a grudge point for that. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, Brutalis now has tinnitus. 
Yeah, his giant, make his that giant side just actually have tinnitus. I, I'm pretty sure he couldn't hear anything from up there. <laughs> yes, he just starts cleaning out his ear. Oh, a quarter! <laughs> oh, a quarter of a building, you mean? <laughs> oh, that's true. He's... I, he finds a goblin in his ear. Giant finds the world's largest penny. <laughs> That'd be perfect! Like, I, I'm just imagining, like, a goblin that got thrown was stuck in his ear, and then he shrunk down with the goblin. Oh, gosh, and the goblin's, like, minuscule. Yeah, it's, like, the size of a... It's just, like, a little speck now. <laughs> I, feel, I feel sorry for Evergreen if she, if she was the one that was in there. <laughs> I just... Another, another joke, that's all. <laughs> Note to self, I ain't touching you when you're shrinking down. <laughs> I'm already small enough. 13, I don't know if that's enough. And that's, I'm pretty sure no one else would really care that he just said that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> y'all head, head back to the, um, North Earl's End. In, um, in there is, uh, Miros again. He is a, he waves at y'all, all, all of y'all. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he's like, Ah, come for those free drinks, he said. Ah, uh, very much so, good sir. Thank you. And then... Oh, excuse me. Let's see. It's in here. It's, oh, wait, that's the... Oh, yeah, it, it is a quest. There is, yeah. Yeah. From what we remember, you offered us a questy westy, if that's uh, correct. <laughs> Perfect. That's a great. <laughs> that that was that was exactly what Ulysses would do, wouldn't it? Actually, Arthur himself. Oh but yeah. Yeah. That I did. I believe I said I, I had something for you to do if you kept me alive. And you did. Congrats. <laughs> Let's see. Have you go for us then? I'm gonna have you all, um, all, all, all of you, uh, travel for the, travel to Anfield. And I need you to give my regards to there was uh, Starhenge. She is the proprietor of a local t tavern called the Staghorn Flagon. I'll need you all the I'll need you all to travel there and for your trouble, I'll, I'll obviously offer you. Um, hmm. I already give you gold, so that's not that's not gonna, that's not gonna be good enough. I don't, I don't think. What should I give you? He, he actually is saying this stuff in character. He like he's he's not he's trying to want, he's like thinking out loud because like he think he's like you know he just gave you out five hundred gold. He doesn't know if he, how he can top that. You know. <laughs> well, some kind of weapon that's a little more giant friendly would be nice. Hmm. Fair enough. Um. Does, was there anything else the rest of you wanted? That's a good question, actually. I hadn't thought of it. Uh, a bit more of a better spear, maybe? So, weapons. I, I'm, I'm taking each one more weapons. Is that it? Yeah, basically, yeah. Ooh, weapons could work. Weapons could work, yes. We are a very violent party. I'll have to recommend... Um, <laughs> true, true. A friend of mine works there in Anfield. I'll tell, I'll tell them that... The, I'll, t I'll tell them that you... Uh, actually, wait. He just... Um, takes out some... He, he gives a, you all a small uh, decorative horn. Present this to him. And he'll, get him, he'll give you each an improved weapon. I won't guarantee it'd be, it would be free, though. Oh, that's fine. Even a discount's nice. How is he going to improve my fists? He, he, he tapes a rock to them. <laughs> no. I mean... You, 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 there's a bit of a hole in your logic here, my guy. <laughs> yeah, you, for, you forget that um, you have a short sword, too. And that works. Oh, yeah, weapon. I do. You just gotta call yourself John D because you're about to rock a feller. <laughs> uh, oh, you! I hate you. <laughs> Why is it so damn hot in this room? 
I don't know. <laughs> why, why did you... Oh, what? sorry, that was just me entering the tavern. Fuck you. <laughs> that was perfect. I have no more patience. <laughs> I have run dry. You was, you I'm going to turn good. to him and I'm going to yeah. say out loud, I have met God, he's a femboy and an asshole. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, that's just you're Genshin Pat. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. No, nobody here has played Genshin. Well, the, it's funny I, I to have. me. So, I played Genshin. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, this is just reminding me of um, transgender bisexual Thomas Jefferson in the hat. Thomas Jefferson in the hat. Suni Miku binder. What? I won't ask. I won't oh, ask. Either. In fact, I won't ask so much that I refuse to speak further. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that was just for comedic. <laughs> I've returned. Oh yeah, no worries. I've Hang returned. On. <laughs> Oh man, that's just hilarious. Okay, so he gave you a quest. He told he gave you a decorative horn. It, it's basically like uh I still can't get over that. How are you gonna upgrade my fists? Dead silence. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, oh, so minute, nobody uh, says you ever heard anything. of plastic surgery? <laughs> <laughs> just 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 use the wish spell. <laughs> Yeah. You ever, we you ever can, read Wolverine? We can make your bare fists bare fists. <laughs> bare fister. Oh, why did I say that? Why did oh, you say no. that? <laughs> okay, so I want y'all to um well he's giving you free room for free rooms for the night too, so um Oh my god, Jimmy, why? Why? <laughs> Anyways, oh, yeah. I want uh, if Brutalis wants to stay outside and say it's giant for me, can I'm just saying like it, all of you can, can get a long rest in while you wait for your stuff to be made before you. Hell yeah, out. that sounds yeah. good to me. Yeah, Brutalis is going to return to his <laughs> normal size and hit the hay. <laughs> yeah, good, yeah, good idea. His hammer shrinks back down with him because he's he's had he's been attuned to it for a while. No. No. Okay. Where is he? No. With it? Yeah, he he left it with the the, the smith. Oh, that's right, he, he did. did. That's right. We'll, we'll be going back the next day, and I guarantee you, it's just going to be like a warhammer stats now. Sure. <laughs> At that point, sure. <laughs> it's like, you know how much a warhammer costs? It's like fifteen gold pieces. You know how much a light hammer costs? It's like three gold pieces. And considering that they gave you a discount on fifteen gold pieces, it's it's even just it's free. Left. It's free. <laughs> you got discount of fifteen. It's free. It's free. Yeah. So they just up, just kind of upgrade. How much it. do I owe you? Nothing. Nothing. It's for free. <gasps> free. Free. <laughs> free. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo thing. <laughs> Free. That's what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so all of you get a long rest. You get your stuff. I mean, like, hey. you get like everything that you like spells and other things that you probably you know hit points back to normal. You know all that stuff. <sighs> okay, you you all over head over back to the the blacksmith, which is just Larry, just Triance. <laughs> She and then she hands you those things that you paid for. Excellent. So, I'm guessing you. So, how many scales did that shield um, use? It required two scales, and then the last one got turned into the mask. The mask, yeah. So, if you ever add those to your, to your sheets, well, who, who's getting the shield, by the way? I am. All right. Surveys the shield. She wants. She wants a shield. I just right, gotta so. remove the black dragon scales from my inventory. All right, then the plus one shield to your, and then just edit, you know, kind of thing. Yep. All right. All good. All good. Okay, I'm gonna ask I'll you all to mask. head on out. Uh, this is basically where the wild encounters come in, like, like brother the. Oh yeah. Also, um, oh, yeah. the mask. Just... All it does is just uh, half damage from. Well, have uh. Acidic resistance, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. You got your gauntlets, by the way, too, Aether. I mean, oh, yeah. Cool. You got your gauntlets? I, I should put those in my inventory, shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's just like just a nice a, like, bit of a logical gauntlets. Oh, shit. Uh, 
and they don't have. I don't think they have to be dragon scales. Actually, exactly. They can just be. Yeah, they can just be in item, which is in some way connected to, to an element. element. Yeah, exactly. That's why that makes them more open ended. Because I'm not yeah. going to be because, throwing dragons everywhere. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to. I'm not going to drag the party along to hunt down like ten different dragons. <laughs> be How about a stone from a stone giant? I mean, I know we beat a crap ton of uh, giants, but uh, I'd rather not fight ten dragons. <laughs> yeah, no. This doesn't sound like the most fun. <laughs> Imagine I fight. know when I'm pushing my luck too much. <laughs> it's alright. If we get into a fight with a dragon, I'll just choke slam the bastard and let y'all poke at it. It is a <laughs> dragon. They're really okay, pain. and... You I'd like, like to give one of those dragons a big wet kiss. <laughs> I, I hate that this is so accurate. <laughs> oh, hey, sorry, my cat's here. I have to stop everything. Come on, <laughs> meow for the audience. Meow for the audience. Come on. Come on. Give us... What do you have to say for yourself? Meow. Meow. Oh. Meow. Say, say the line, Bart. <laughs> Say the line, Bart. <laughs> Imagine if your cat was named Bart. <laughs> Anyways, um, where to put you? Typically, all of you are hanging out of the hanging out of the city. So, yeah, I'm gonna need to copy paste y'all into a different area. After you all's got your stuff, you you, you hang out. So now I'm gonna take you all to to the map. Uh, this right here. This is where. This is the player's map of the north, basically. This is the big big map. The big big, big, big big map. And I, I'm not putting your character. You're not putting your tokens here. I just want to like, like reference this real quick. And I'm gonna put. <laughs> There's so much. Why? Why does it need to be this big? Because. Hmm. Oh, Where to get? What to get you first? Um. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna get y'all over to here. Just a second. I gotta find the this Miros quest real quick. It's just gonna look like the Emperor's new groove dotting on the map. Just do, 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 do. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Uh, yeah, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Oh, uh, you got me. It's by all accounts, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I've never my... actually seen the Emperor's new groove. Oh, oh, you're missing out. Yeah. Plastic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I need to find a good uh, on the road kind of thing. So, I'm not sure if I get, took you to this road yet, but I'm, I'm doing it right now. Oops, wrong one. Oh. Over ah. here is what I meant to put. Yeah, oh. this is a good road. It's been, I mentioned this one, but I couldn't think of I'm not sure if I did this road yet, but this will definitely be a good uh, spot to get you on the road and such. Is this, mm -hmm. this is fine? Yeah. Alright, so... Let's get some music real quick. You are on the road. <clears throat> heading towards Am Amphil. That's where you're heading towards the first time. But really, you could be heading anywhere, because I mean, this is, this is, you've got the whole open world for you right now. Before you leave, although, he mentioned that you should warn the other anyone you see about the Giants attacking uh, golden fields. There may be yeah, more out there. That would probably be a good idea. Like, like if anyone, any like city you run into, they'll, 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 they'll warn them about that. Mm -hmm. And so, I'll have you. I'm gonna have to roll. I'm gonna either do one of two things: roll a random encounter. Or something, do something else, you know. It's kind of one of those things. I'm pretty sure I have a thing here that lets me... Yeah, there, there is. Renwell and Winterhouse Encounters. Alright, so... What do I got? Oh, there's some pretty interesting things here. 
All right, so I'm gonna roll it. It's a D hundred, I think. Looks like this is a forest right now. So, is this cause a forest or a road trail? I think it's gonna be a forest. Don't we? You're like a, it's like a forest trail. Whatever. It's, I'm gonna. I just roll. I'll roll for it. D hundred. I got a thirty. Woohoo! So what's that do? <laughs> Look at you. Uh oh. Mind flared. I'm just I wish it was. <laughs> it was oh, it's gosh. not though. When, when suddenly Tarask. It's not though. <laughs> uh, All right, back to the golden fields. Back to the golden fields. <laughs> I'm put this right here. Darn it! It. It. it mm. I'll, I'll. That's not what I wanted. Oh, a user profile has entered the location. I'm trying to find like. Where is it? <sighs> okay, I'll find. I, I, I got an icon for it somewhere. Let's be dumb. Oh, it's in the freebies, I think. Actually, let's do that. My library. No, premium assets, free assets. Freebies. That's not what I want. It should be somewhere. Oh well. Because it, 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 it literally is, not, it's not, you know what, I'm not going to make a token. You see an elk, just move on by. That's it. That was the encounter. <laughs> That's right. The entire encounter was just a, was just an elk that looks at you curiously, then runs off. What did the elk look like? What do you mean? Just a, it looks like a regular elk. Okay. Because in Storm King's Thunder, there is a very rare encounter that is quite literally a magical elk. What, is, what kind of elk is it? Uh, what exactly? I can't even remember. I'll, I'll, I'll double check, but... Is it part of the, the, the module? It is. What's it called? Is it like in part, Is it like just in like one of the chapters, or is it just something like a random encounter? It's just a random encounter. Huh. Like it's, it's nothing super special, it's just... What's it called? I'm trying to find the name of it, but it's... Because... Mm. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> if, if I feel... If, if I feel like it'd be, it'd be fun to have it there, it'd be quite, quite funny. I'm not finding any particular name for it, but it's... Yeah, it, it's... It's just like a sort of a blessed spirit animal. I see. So it's like a, it's like that that it's like the Hercules aspect thing, like in Skyrim. Yeah, ex it's exactly like that. Well, no, this was a normal elk. Okay. <laughs> it just looked like it looked just looks like you curiously before it running off. That's really what it is. Like that. That's I rolled for it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Something might happen later, but who knows? All of you are traveling, and I'm gonna say, uh, you know what? I'm gonna make another encounter happen, but not a bad one. You see a traveler coming on by. The tear was a bad one. I want to say it's a bad one. It's more just the fact that I couldn't progress any, the story with it. That's all. Ah, uh -huh, gotcha. So I'm gonna have some NPCs um show up. You see two people in this in the distance, um, and they, for some people, that they, hey. they might look familiar, mm -hmm. or at least one person. I'm yep. Arvid's not here right now, so. Yeah. But I know their names off the top of my head, but I got a role play not knowing who they are. <laughs> exactly. Yep. They're just passing on by. They're going like your direction. But they don't look to be harmed. They don't have that their weapons drawn or anything. It's more the fact that they're just walking on by. Do mm -hmm. you want to make perception checks to see if they're hostile, or you just want? Yeah, don't... I'll make a quick perception check. Sure. Are these hostile entities? That... Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! You can tell right away they're not hostile. 
despite how they look. Uh. <laughs> they look very rugged, very tough. <laughs> and then they like just kind of like they're passing on by. And do you want to move your characters, or just stay there? Yeah, I guess we should probably move them forwards. Like, do you yeah. want to like see what they're what like who they are or something or? Uh, this one looks over to to the other, and sort of just chuckles. The other ones will ask right back. The, 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 it's, it's like they're engaging in like a friendly conversation kind of thing. I'm gonna just have them um, talk now. Oi, what 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 are you all doing out here? I'm just traveling. Hmm. Not sure if you're interested, but I have I've been have a something that I could use some help with. Hmm. Work on something. Tell him. <laughs> and then the other one, the, other one, the, the dwarf guy, kind of just like uh, nods his head. Oh. Hi, my name is Dorcas Peachtrees. Uh, not sure if you've heard me, but this is my partner who is. Uh, we're both mercenaries. We've been hired for a job, and we are not entirely sure we will be able to make it on our own. Well, that's... Not, that's not, I wouldn't say that's true. We definitely know we can fight it, but we don't have anything that could... You know, it's always best to be prepared. What can that's, we do for you big bicep fellows? You see, we've been hired for a job to investigate a mine. Not sure what about, but I heard there's treasure on there. Oh, I'm certain we can make a quick detour. You said treasure, I'm in. <laughs> Money is nice. Wait, what'd you say? Money is nice. <laughs> <laughs> there, from what I've heard, there are legends about that place. Not sure if they're true, but if, but if they are, then we would need all the help one can get. Do you ask we'll them? give it to you. But do you want to ask them what the, those legends are? Or just not? Yeah. What exactly are these legends? They say that an evil king used to rule around, around that area. Not sure if that's true. But they but they say that the, his remains um, are down, on, down in there. Along with everything that he owned. Ooh, so we're desecrating the grave of an evil king. I like it. Should be. Forgot I was muted. Um, a new headset, figuring it out still. That's okay. Um, as Brutalis hears the words "evil king," he's going to deadpan. He's going to deadpan. <laughs> you said, you you said what now? Oh, I did not hear me. I said there was an evil king that should be down there. No, I, I heard you just fine. I just wanted to make sure it was correct. We don't know if it's correct. That's the, just those just what the legends say. No, I was just confirming what you said. People in power who abuse their position and get labeled as an evil leader? I know, right? Absurd. Don't deserve <laughs> to hold that position. And they deserve to have every ounce of their fucking life being removed from their body. Given this it, one's supposedly dead, I imagine that's already the case. You all will notice that as Brutalis is like saying these, his face is starting to get like red. <laughs> because one of his ideals is uh, the honesty and faithfulness of a good leader. And just hearing Evil King just fucking flipped a switch, and it's just just thinking about it's pissing him off. Well, if you want to help or yeah, not, Aether's but... gonna like put a hand on Brutalis' shoulder and just kind of go, "Hey, listen, I 
I get what you're coming from, but not all evil rulers are meaning to be malicious. Sometimes it just happens. I don't know. My um, Jade looks over to Aether and just like, I'm, I'm sure he mean well, but I'm pretty sure Brutalis might need to go through this, this stage of what's going on right now through on his own. If they aren't tagging along, I am. Yeah, tagging let's along. kick some evil King Heine. Tagging <laughs> along, who told you I won? Of course, that meant like... Brutalis yeah. is going to hit full size at this point. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to move you out of the uh, move them the other way, cause like, <laughs> or like move you down here. Yep. Yeah, thanks for the warning, big guy. <laughs> like, and then they're like, "Whoa!" They like they reach they reach <laughs> for their weapons. Uh, do you want to say anything to them before they do that? Like they they're reaching for weapons now because they saw you just grow in size. If y'all want to keep doing what you're doing, I'll punch your asses across the field and go find that evil king's lair on my own. You can trust him, don't worry. It's actually very handy. They look at yeah, you... Yeah, house is just being a big old sourpuss right now. <laughs> they look at each other and shoot their weapons. Sorry. We've had... We've heard of rumblings about giants in the area being troublesome. Yeah, we just killed a bunch. That I am not one of them. Those were all a bunch of hill giant wannabes. I come from a community of stone giants, and even then they did not raise me. I can assure you, I am not like them. Well, alright then. What about you, Dorcas? What do you think? Hmm. I don't see that. I don't see a problem with taking them along, considering the fact that we, we do need all the help we can get. Uh, all right. Yeah, sure. My name's Ragnar, by the way. M Ragnar B Brittle Brain. Bane. Brittle Bane. And I go by Brutalis. I'm Cerveza. Ulysses B. Tallywaker. My name's Jay. My name's Jay Callisto. Pleased to meet you. Hey, I'm Evergreen. They hey, both look at. Um... That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, then I suppose that we'll be traveling for a while. Um, we'll be traveling for a while. Guess best we team up to when we get to get there. So I'm gonna. Transport you to that area. <laughs> if that's alright. I like I like the idea of just the awkward conversation like Ulysses is like next to Dorcas Peach Tree, so he's like pardon my intrusion, but uh your uh rear kinda of smells bad. Uh do you uh wipe well? <laughs> Oi, you remember you remind me of my brother. He's a little unique like you. <laughs> Sounds like a swell lad. <laughs> That's, that would be a hilarious conversation, honestly. Yeah. I wish Arthur was here for that. <laughs> I had to bring the he didn't wipe well uh, situation again. It's perfect, though. And and by the way, this is a side act to the Storm King Thunder thing. Like we're not doing Storm King Thunder right now. We're basically doing yeah, another it's, thing. It's, it's side it's, quest. Side quest. Yeah, it's a side quest. Like. I don't want to just just run the module. I want to have fun. I want you guys to do yeah. other things. So sounds good to me. All right, I'm gonna put y'all over here. So, boom. Obviously, the maps look a little bit different than the other one. I'm gonna put you over here. This uh, right here. I'll put y'all over here. How's that? Yeah, that works. Looks good. I put I put Dorcas and Ragnar in front because they're uh, you can tell right away that both they're both barbarians, but of different subclasses. 
I mean, you, if, you, if you want to be a perception check, you could probably do that too, but like, it's kind of obvious. Yeah. Anyways, um, the adventure, you're at the mine. Okay, so, prologue to this. From a distance, the mine looks populated. Colorful tents stand nearby, well maintained, while various pieces of machinery are weathered across the area. Ancient machinery, I'm guessing probably like dwarven or something. You know, like, that kind of stuff, you know? Like that. Anyways, um, sitting closer, you see that stands that stands abandoned. There is nobody near. No sound um, from anyone except the birds and the trees close by. And... Okay. I want... Uh, so... Do you wish to investigate the tents, or do you wish to press on? Towards the mine. We can investigate, we can investigate the tents, I think. You All never right. know what could be inside. All right, then more investigation checks. If you want to investigate the checks, no, that checks to tents. Sorry. <laughs> I Very can't f- wait for this to be terrible. Uh, let's see why not. <laughs> uh, investigation. investigation. Investigation, yeah. Investigation. investigation. Well, that's Ulysses' uh, roll. Yeah, five. Ah, uh, darn. Uh, okay, I'll have Jade roll too, just, just in case. And why not? I'll have Evergreen roll too. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. So Jade and Evergreen can can know. Actually, this. the sixteen is uh, Ulysses. Ulysses, then. Ulysses. Uh, oh yeah, Ulysses. Uh, both know us this. You both you both know us that the tents are in good order. The tent can, tent contain them. Okay, so the tent containing the uh, there's a tent containing miners' food, but it's been it's been ravaged as if. As if just like just eaten, but there's no one in sight. Some parts of it are torn like claws. Well, the food is most inside must be gone. So, mm. <laughs> uh, how am I going doing this? Okay, so as you as you do this, you all hear a. A, a loud howling. I want you to move you guys up to the tent area or somewhere close, if possible. I'm sick wolves. Not just any wolves. I'm gonna start the um, music for this because this is gonna be an encounter. Oh god! Oh god! Yes! And they're not just any wolves. So this is basically a level seven adventure, but. I'm but the fact of the matter is, you guys got there's, there's a lot of you, so it should be fine. Be fine. I mean, I included these two just because I knew that this would think just be a bit tough. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I need to look at what it says for what these guys are called. Okay, so how big are they? They have. Okay, they actually are that size. Okay. All right. GM wire. Okay, token wire. Ah. Whoa, what are those? Do you want to roll perception to see what they are? <laughs> or yes. Some direwolves. They're not direwolves, I can tell you that much. Mm. Yeah, Um. so that would be a nature check, wouldn't nature it? Nature check, then, okay. Oh, oh god. Oh god, I'm not... Oh, no! Got point. <laughs> you got a crutch point! <laughs> you have no idea. They look like white wolves? I don't know. <laughs> they look like giant cats. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you, like, hmm. Very large Puppies. rocks. <laughs> they look like just giant pillows. Maybe you should try hugging one. <laughs> giant snarling rocks. <laughs> You see, when you said not just any wolf, I'm like, oh shit, are they werewolves? Nope. Wow, okay, um, Jay got a good roll. Oh, good shit. Okay, she she just she knows right away what this is. That's a, she's got a zero modifier to this, by the way. She had, <laughs> she just rolled great. She just rolled great, yeah. Oh my. <laughs> she looks at those. Those are winter wolves. Winter is coming? Very quickly, it looks like. All right, everyone, roll initiative. 
All right. Hell yeah. And uh, Brutalis gets advantage. Yes, he does. Oh my god. And I also get advantage. No, yeah. Not because of the thing from earlier, but it's because I forgot. It's because of something I forgot. I get a 23, for... get a 23 on the roll that doesn't. Oh, that's even better. Never mind. I'm not complaining. You got that 20. <laughs> I've, I've forgotten this whole time that I should have been rolling my initiative at advantage because of um, the ranger features. Ah. All right, so, so I'm going to roll nine. for... Like, nine. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to roll right. for one of, like, one of them. They're all like, on, oh, in the same turn, I think. Is that good so, or bad? Also, also the first roll I had, uh, that was for Ulysses, and the second one was for Evergreen. Okay, so is it fine if I put them all in the same turn order, or like... Yeah, it's a horde encounter. Award, okay. <laughs> that one got a five. Now that means they all get a five. Hey. Okay, so uh, let's see. I, I forgot to roll for Jade. Just a second. And the other two. Okay, so just a second. Got to add them to the turn order too. I remember their sheets are somewhere in here. So right now we're doing the Lost King uh, side part thing. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to do this because I just did. I just bought this and everything. I think it'd be good to have. Mm -hmm. The fact that Dorcas is growing his initiative. Uh, I have a ten my initiative. You did okay. Fifteen for. Oh, you have ten. Okay. For, for, for Talus. Yes. Okay. And for Ragnar. He is going to have. Like, they're both barbarians, so it's gonna be useful that they're there. And I, I roll for Jade already, right? No, I don't think I did. Did I roll for Jade? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, not yet. No. And Jade. Jade, 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 Jade. It's over here. Okay. Wow. Okay, so, and I'm just having, like, the wolves all in one turn, so. That'll be fine. Descending. Wait, did Aether roll? Uh, for initiative? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he okay. did. Yeah, so he's first. Yeah, he got a natural. He's at the yeah. top. Yeah. He's, 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 he's the top. He's... Uh, Actually, okay. no, never mind. Radiant Symbol is literally just ranged unarmed attacks, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. These are all large creatures, by the way. I, I'm telling you this right now. They are not. They actually are that big. Actually, like just to be sure. The healing hands. Oh, that's not you. Flurry of blows. Key. Stop the wind. Yada yada. Just give me my damn thing. Uh, okay, that. Rain is... sunbolt. I want to see how much distance you all have. Okay, yeah, this is definitely um, a feet thing. So good. That's not miles or anything. So. I did say you can move your characters close to the tents, by the way, so oh, that way you don't have to worry sorry, about it. Uh, the calf thing. I'm doing like three things at once. Uh, so I'll move them okay. over here. Uh, oh, those, okay. Uh, I guess over here-ish. Yeah, and then you can then you can move and then closer or whatever you want to do. 30 feet? 30 feet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hit this guy. Yep. Alright. Uh, uh, is, is it like so on Mac that you hit them, or...? I don't know. Hang on. It says he took a attack he action in your turn. With the attack action. This special attack is a ranged spell attack of a range of 30 feet. Proficient with it, that, that, you are proficient with it, and you add your dexterity modder, modifier to its attack and damage rolls. Okay, so. Damage is radiant, and its damage die is a d6. This die changes as you gain monk levels, as shown in the martial arts column with the monk table. I see. When you, attack, when you take the attack action on your turn, you can spend one key point and make the special action or special All right, so, action, and, so you just, just do a monk on arm strike and that's for you to hit. Or, is that right, um, Dan? Is it monk on arm strike to do that? Yes. Okay, then just roll that. Roll that. Roll a monk on arm strike and you just basically do that. And you basically just do radiant damage instead of uh, what you do. So yeah, quick on this. Sh Wait, what's this? Uh, so 
Um, it's in your sheet. It's in the spell sheet. Um, sorry. Not, not spells. Uh, it's in your monk. Just say monk on a strike, and then that's why how you roll for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. And eight. It, yeah, it says bludgeoning, but it'd be radiant technically. It'll be radiant because of the the the, stru the sun bolt. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see how the wizards will, will look. I got to get rid of this and this and I'm basically just like getting rid of things that I don't need to have on on right now. So get rid of this, <laughs> this. There we go. That looks a lot, a lot better. Okay, so they have no though no, they oh they do have damage immunity, but not the radiant. Okay, so they that 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 one takes take that one takes damage. So calculator, this minus eight brilliant. Yep, that hurt it. You can do another one, cause you can do two of them. Yeah, yeah, I can do two if I spend a key point. If you, so. Yeah, if it's a key point, but if you don't want to do that, it's fine. That hits. Okay, that's uh, another raid. Nice. So let's see. Oh yeah, it's hurt. All right, so that's end your turn, I guess. Guessing. Yeah. All right, so it's Jade's turn now. Jade is going to uh, go over here. First things first, she's gonna start dancing. She's gonna one of her dances. And what dance should she do? I got an idea. She's gonna go go uh, right next to Aether. I mean not Aether. Um. Yeah. Um. Let's see how many feet away this is. This is actually, how? I'm looking to see if how 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 effective this will be. Jade has thirty feet of movement, and so right there would be perfect. She's, she starts dancing, and she's doing Dance the Mountain. And I'm not sure if you don't know what that does, but the persistent effect is your AC is increased by half your proficiency modifier rounded down, and you cannot be moved unwillingly by ma non-magical means. You can also is that, is that everybody? No, it's anyone. It, 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 it's with everyone, everyone within five feet of her gets that. Ah. Creature of her choice, rather, but you know, so 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 that means uh, her proficiency bonus at level six is three, so round down, ha halved and round down is one, so that's an extra one AC to you right now. Um, Aether. Okay, so extra one AC for right now. All right. No, you're not at one AC. You have an extra but, one. Yeah, an extra AC. Yeah, so I'm at nineteen AC right now. Yep. And I'm gonna have her, you know, just keep dancing for that. That that no, how much, does it cost an action to do that? I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but it does. It doesn't say if it costs an action or not. If it doesn't say that it does, then it probably doesn't. It doesn't. It's just it's just a this is a feat. That's all. So for that, in in that regard, she's gonna just fire her crossbow at one of the winter wolves. Damn. I wish that was not 20. It's not an advantage. Mm. Eight piercing. This one. I, I wish that was not 20. That, I got, that would have been pretty good. Because that would give her a divine boon. Oh well. Uh, that, that's that's her turn for now. And now it's Lucy's turn. So now uh, you, you guys are definitely like definitely want to be within range of her. Five feet. Within, uh, within range of her to be able to get yeah. the actual AC. Yeah, sadly with the Ulysses, I don't think he has anything that he can do like range, probably not. Range, so he'll probably still have to go up. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> another uh, cry throwback. It's clobbering time. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, I think I'll start by trying to hit the so uh, winter wolf with the. Uh, short sword. 
Okay. That 16. hits. Nice. So that deals uh, eight piercing. Second. And then uh, I'm going to use one of the key uh, points to do... Uh, where is it? Forty blows. Uh uh Um. Frick. Why am I having trouble finding it? I know he has it. Oh, stunning strike. Okay. So they have to do a Constitution saving throw of fourteen or be stunned. So wolf, I just attack. All right. So wolf has to do that and fourteen. It says. Ah, uh, he. So. He makes it. He makes it. Yeah. So He's nothing not, happens. Nothing happens. Sorry. Oh well. And then uh, I'll do the uh, second attack with the uh, okay. short sword. All right. That, that probably misses. That definitely misses. All right. And then, yeah, I'll use another key point to do a flurry of blows. All right. What's like, like yep. putting a monk again? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. So first unarmed, 25. That definitely hits. Five bludgeoning. Okay. Hell yeah. And then, sadly, it's not advantage, but 19 should hit, so that's four bludgeoning. Well, that's four. And because he's a drunken monk, he can disengage after doing flurry of blows. Nice. So, I'll move him uh, right next to uh, Jade, <laughs> our friend here. Yeah. She gets also gets he also gets that extra AC. Yeah. Yep. Because. That's actually one EC to her to him right now. It does. St like, yeah, like, but like, hey, it, it helps. It gets better with proficiency bonus. So, for example, yeah. if, you, if if she had a four proficiency bonus, which will happen later on, uh, it'll be two extra EC, mm -hmm. and so on. You know, like for a total of like, you know, because like, like six is the max, but that means there'll be three extra EC. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll be super useful later on. Yeah, later on. Right now it's just one, but still. And yep. Dorcas, yeah, it's his turn. Oh, yeah, I don't know what's going go on with all these wolves, but it's time for me to rage! He actually, he actually, he actually just says that. Like, he, like, says it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so he has 35 speed. So he just goes right up to this one. And he has a bit of a trick up his sleeve. So the fact of the matter is that uh, he's got something cool because of his uh, subclass. Let's see. Roll on this. So uh, I'm going to roll a d6. Is it a d6 or d8? It's a d8, actually. Dan, can you guess what kind of class he is? Oh, no. All right, so well, here we go. He got a one. So he's using his uh, <laughs> wild surge. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. He's a he's a. Is it just like the really path of wild magic one? barbarian? Wild magic barbarian, exactly. <laughs> Heck yeah. I mean, that's what um, the original player Stevie wanted it to be, but didn't have. Oh, nice. Yeah, I played one and. Uh... One campaign that I couldn't like play to completion. Um, so shadow tendrils lash around you. Each creature of your choice, with you can see within, oh, thirty oh, yeah, feet. That's, that's a really good one. Um, have to make it succeed. Must succeed on constitution saving throw or take one d twelve from the chronic damage, and you also gain one d twelve temporary hit points. Ooh, so that means yeah. thirty feet. So that's literally. Second, and oh yeah, that's like almost all. Like, no, that's very five. Yeah, that oh. that's almost all of them. That is almost all of them. So nice. I have to roll. Like this one doesn't. Have, it's not been thirty feet. It's so that that one's out of range, and this one that's out of range too. So just these five. Those five uh, have to roll constant constant throws. So so one. That's 17. That product, that one product succeeded. I need to see what the uh, thing is first. DC equals 8 plus your proficiency bonus, which is 3, plus your constitution modifier. 
This cross motion t modifier is 4, so 8 plus 3 plus 4. So that's 11. 15. So that one succeeded. That one failed. That one succeeded. That one succeeded. And that one also succeeded. So only one of them takes D12, the karate damage. These guys are pretty good. I just realized that plus two is, is what it's supposed to be uh, for their D20s, but still. Uh, that one that was the 10 was the, was a 12, but still fails. Either way, uh, this one's taking a D12 in the karate damage, and he, and he gets, I, I imagine it's the same amount for temporary hit points, right? Whatever. Five necrotic damage to the to the winter wolf. So this one's down a bit, and he gets five temporary hit points. I'm guessing that's how it works. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just say it. So it's how it works. Yep. Five. Yeah, he gets five temporary hit points, and that's just his bonus actually because of the rage, right? Wild Search is not an action. No, it says when you rage. Okay, so that 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 literally is just part of how how you, what happens when you rage is. Okay, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when he rages, a random effect happens. Oh boy, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna take out his warhammer, two-handed swing. Oh my god! Heck yeah! Six bludgeoning damage. So. Minus five, right? Yeah, it was five. No, it was six. Six. Minus six. And he's also got extra attack. I believe that's what he has. Yes, he does. He can do it again. Two hundred swing. And that hits. Nice. Six bludgeoning damage. Minus six. Oh yeah, that 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 winter wolf's hurting. Quite a bit. Right. Now it's Ragnar's turn. And he's going to assist his buddy, his partner, the go up here. They're both mercenaries, of course, so. Like they're. Whoa, he's got way more movement than I thought he did. Alright, so. He's going to go over here. I don't know. He, he's, got, he's got a lot more movement than I thought he did, so. I could just make a move over to this one if I wanted to. Heck, uh, nope, just just this one or this one if you want to. He's got 50 feet of movement. So, we're, he's, he's going to assist his partner. Rage. And he's a bear torn bar barbarian, by the way. Hey. But also he's got your custom thing for beast aspect of the beast as well. Bull. Fuck yeah. That's him. Yeah, he's the one that has the, the bull to him as well. So right now it's going to... Let's see, he's got his bear to him, which makes him just... Like, resistance to everything. Is that what bear to him does for the first one? Resistance to all except for psychic damage. And then the aspect of the beast, he's with the bull. He's immune to fright and, and charmed. Whenever you're subjected to... Oh, uh, yeah. This is gonna be very useful for him. Oh yeah, because he's not—he's pretty scary on his own, honestly. Yeah. He takes Charging out his... in like a bull. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, jeez, great axe that hits twelve slashing damage. Ooh. Let's see, minus twelve. This is why it took, made them take, come along, because this is this is like a like, this is like a lost an adventure kind of thing. I wanted you guys to have a little help. Again, and he kills it. Slices its head off. And then just like chops it to little pieces. <laughs> He's very savage. He is very savage. And that's his turn. Evergreen, your turn. Alright. Well, with 30 feet of movement, I, uh,. Get to go here, which is nice. Extra AC. <laughs> yep. And then, uh, bonus action, I'll summon a uh, spiritual weapon uh, here. 
All right, just a second. Give me the, a bit. It's uh. I don't have any actual thing for it, so I'm just using the flying sword thing. Yeah, no worries. If I can get it to work. No, don't do that! <laughs> Dumb thing! It never works, alright. Alright, flying sword then. Flying... Sword. Dumb thing. Oh, come on! Sword. It's not working today, it really isn't. Hmm. I don't know what's not what's doing this. <sighs> okay, um I I don't know what to do. Um You could do like a temp image if uh that one's not working. Yeah, it's not working for some reason. I don't get why. Hmm. <sighs> I made it to my library. I did use it before. Um nope, it's not. In this case, if you have a hammer or something, that's what I actually use for the spiritual weapon. I'm trying to find something like that, but it's not helping the fact that I can't find it. Nope, I don't have anything. That's a, that's a d darn shame. Like, why is it doing this? Hammer 5e. Images. Transparent. This will do. And then I'll put that in there. Here, you can have this. It's probably be a little bit bigger because of the <laughs> edge thing, so whoosh. <laughs> it's Brutalis' hammer. <laughs> it's Brutalis' hammer. There we go, there's there's your there's your spiritual weapon. Hey, that works. Hey. Good shit. That works because yeah. now, now I can actually just have it there. Okay, what else? Yeah. Because so now it's in my yep. library and now I can just take it out of there and then do whatever. All Sweet. Right. All right. Well, it's hammer time. I'm gonna <laughs> swing at the wolf on the right. All right. Uh, twenty-three. That definitely hits. Yep. That does uh, six force. Nice. And then, hmm, trying to think what would be a fun option for my actual action. Uh. How about maybe a guiding bolt? Sure. Alright. I uh, forget what I need to do. Alright, I'll aim for the uh, same wolf. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, that definitely hits. It's 11 radiant, and uh, attacks on it have advantage. Oh my. So yeah. if someone attacks the attacks it, it's that it's means... like it's affected by fairy fire, basically. Basically, like fairy fire, yeah. Yeah. Evergreen, that's the end of your turn. Yep. Okay, Brutalis is your turn. So you all are going to do something very uncharacteristic, Brutalis. Oh. What's going on? Brutalis's brutality. Oh yeah, I, I named it that because he didn't have like a good name for it. Ah, well, now that I've taken one level of barbarian, it's a proper raid. You are just going to see something absolutely fucking nap. <laughs> and you are just going to see his eyes sort of glass over. Nice. Badass. Alice, you okay, man? Uh, you I know. mean, you got. Now you got like three barbarians in this. <laughs> sort of. Oh, don't worry. Next level surveys will make it four. <laughs> oh, boy. That wolf right there is within range. That one's in range of what? Uh, of Brutalis. Yeah. Checking. The... You'll have to. Like, these two are in front of you, so. There we go. But you have reach because of your giant sass, right? Hey, and he's around. Uh, uh, and then taking into account three. 
Alright, so it's a normal hit, and I'm swinging with two hands. Okay. 15 to hit. Yep. Alright. And then... Nice. 12 plus... I gotta pull up the fucking Barbarian Rage damage table. Well, it's only one level, right? So it's two. Right? Is that what it is? I think so. Uh, yeah, plus two. So yeah, as I thought. Yep. Minus two. Yep, that one's hurting quite a bit, but it, it looks like... Uh, it, it's not bloody or anything yet. That, no. that hurt it. Here's, here's another question. Would you consider Divine Smite a casting spell? Divine Smite is not casting a spell. You can burn it while you're raging. Um. Boop. Smite him. Smite him. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. By the way, uh, Brutalis, you're within range of Jay's dance. You got an extra 1 AC. Hot damn, so I'm sitting there. Cool. Yeah. One. Uh, no. Nah. So the 2d8. Right? Well, hold up. Yeah, it depends uh, on what level of spell slot he's using. Yeah, I'm burning a second level spell slot. Ooh, Ooh nice. So that's 3d8. Oh, Jesus, rip. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, my gosh, that's, so that's pretty good. 18. 18 yeah. Radiant. yeah, that hurt 18 it. Radiant. Now it's bloodied. God damn, that thing's still fucking standing? Yeah, it sure mm -hmm. is. Winter level 7 tough. encounter. Level 7 encounter, yeah. Son of a bitch. I mean, I. <laughs> this is why I included Brian and Dorcas along with you, because, like, this is technically a level 7 um, thing. Uh, do you get another attack? Yes, I actually do have extra attack. Nice. Yeah. nice and it has advantage. Has advantage, yep. Uh, Not that you need matter, it. but hey. Yep, it's. So that's 11. And then I'm going to go ahead and crack my other second level spell slot. <laughs> oh goodness, this wolf is getting annihilated. Yeah. Ooh, oh my goodness. How do you kill it? Just channeling every single ounce of anger that Brutalis has within him. His hammer's gonna just start sparking. And he's going to slam it down on this wolf's head. Fucking exploding it. <laughs> they just look at hey, both lock eyes with the next That's wolf. familiar to my paladin. <laughs> I like making cool. things explode with holy light. <laughs> Dorcas just yeah. and Briners look both look, look at uh, the giant guy behind him and give him a thumbs up. <laughs> the wolf's just two seconds before exploding. Scooby <laughs> button. <laughs> <laughs> what the dog do? <laughs> Boom. All of my all right, so I'm guessing that's your turn. Um, I think it is. Yeah. Okay, Surface's turn. <laughs> She's just hanging out all the way back there. Why is she all the way back there? <laughs> oh well. Well, why is she all the way back there? Because I didn't know that's where the wolves were coming from. It's but the good news is. I can make it up to here with my movements. Nice. Whoa. Hey. Hey there, little wolf. It's not really little. <laughs> I'm going to show you why Cerveza's the only wolf that should be in this damn map. Okay. By throwing a javelin! Has this wolf been damaged previously? No. As wolves do. <laughs> okay. Well then, bonus action, I'm going to place the Hunter's Mark on it. And... Yeah. Does a 21 hit? Yep. Boom. So, Damn. 12 piercing damage plus... An additional 6 from the Hunter's Mark. And then for my second attack... Does a 16 hit? Yes. Good shit. So that's an additional 9 damage plus... Hang on, let's see if we get this going. Plus an additional 9 damage. Ooh. Yep, that one... That hurt it a lot. Hell yeah. That's it? Yeah, that, that is, uh... 
everything for me right now. Now it's all the rest of the Winter Wolf's turn. All right, so the wolf. The wolves, yeah. It's a wolf. Now here's a question. Uh, while raging, can I still use Channel Divinity? That's a question for Dan, not me. It is not a spell, so technically, yes. Awesome. The oh. only rule for rage is that you cannot cast or keep concentration on spells. Abiding by rules is written. As God himself... I'm sorry, I don't recall saying we were allowed to do that. Damn. To all to what? Bye bye rules is written. I hate that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're this is mostly rules. Ew. Yeah. We're... <laughs> okay, so this one's gonna go right up to Zervesa and try oh, and, and try and bite her. Oh, you can try. It will. It definitely will. Big bad bitch. It's got a plus six to hit. Does that hit? <laughs> yeah, that actually does hit, oddly enough. For the greater for the greater good. Ooh. The greater good. thank you. That means you no, took damage instead. Talus is here. He <laughs> like bust through the tree. Hey, Brutalis is here. <laughs> Alright, so two D six plus four piercing damage. Eight because damage. I'm resistant to it because of my rage, it's only four. Oh, I need to make a strength saving throw. And because oh. I'm raging, I have advantage. I am oh, using no. my grudge You're point. not prone. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I'm using grudge my grudge point. point. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> These are some Leo rolls. <laughs> These are definitely Leo oh. rolls. Just a, by, by the way, you can keep using grudge points as long as you want. It's just... I only had the one. Uh... Well, you're not prone. <laughs> that 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 that's sad. <laughs> if anything, it's just gonna piss him off even more. Where's yeah. the? Let's just give you that right that real quick. Brutalis is not a chew toy. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going. Actually, how much movement do these things have? They have wow, a lot. They have a lot. They have 50 feet of movement. This one's going to try and attack Brutalis with advantage. Didn't matter either way if it was prone or not. It's still got it's still, still got advantage. Uh, let's see. So, plus 6 to hit. Bite. Nope. That, hey. that is adva advantage, so that's... Uh, no. Nine that does not hit, and more coming. This one come, going right out here. Oh lordy, coming! Would that make it um, have a talking R two E from Ragnar? Um, here? since it ha since he had not previously engaged with that specific wolf, no. Just, just asking. Going right out it here, no. trying to attack Brutalis, who is right in the way of uh, Cerveza. So, 20 to hit. No, uh, 20 meets. Wait, uh, oh, that's right, you're not within range of Jade. Okay, that's right. Okay, oh, so. Uh, 19. So, yeah, that hits. Okay, so, uh. You're already prone, so it's just, it's just 2 6 plus 4. So, 12 damage. And I'm only taking 6. Yep, because it's, I'm still raging. Because you're still raging. And there's more of them. They have 50 feet of movement. They do be like that, though. I'll move it right here. Have it attack, uh, let's see. Dorcas. Because it's technically one of the ones that kill... Uh, you, know, you know what I mean. <sighs> he killed his friend! Yeah. It's not within range of any of its uh, a live ally, so it doesn't get advantage. So that, that misses. Actually, how, how much how much movement does it need for pack tactics? 
Five feet, and it's not within five feet. <laughs> the last way is this one. It's gonna... Can't move that far, it's gonna move up here, so... So, that will be the end of its turn, because during the fact it can't do anything ranged. Oh wait, it can! Actually it can! Though, should I do that? Because <laughs> like, that wouldn't be very smart, given the fact that the other wolves are right there. So I'm not going to do that. Aether's turn. Uh, right. I'm just going to... You can do that. Is that... Yeah, it's still on 30 feet. Alright, here we go again. That hits. And then I'm going to do it again. That hits. And... Nine bludgeoning, which is nine, uh, brilliant. Yeah, it's 19 radiant. On yeah, it's like this a, uh, he's, he's closest to the most people. Alright. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Jade's turn. I'm just gonna move up right here. Uh, that means, um, only people who are next to her will, uh, get that bonus. But that means Yusuf still has it. But yep. Jade, but Jade is uh still doing it. She's gonna use her swords. Actually, wait, I can better get it. Yeah, keep her here, and have her use her whip. Cha! Hey. <laughs> Next twenty. Extra kinky. <laughs> she got a divine boon from that. Yeah. Let's see, the Vine Boon plus one. There we go, and whip. So that's uh, 11 damage. That's only like, she doesn't get, I don't think she gets extra attack because she's a bard. But if she's using her two, he two, or like two, her two weapons from the two weapon fighting style, it, then she would be able to use it. Uh, but she still, but she can still use a bonus action though, which is uh, either a healing word or one of her bark inspirations. She use one of those. I don't know. I think the, da the dance of the mountain is a very thing, good thing to have so far. Mm -hmm. For does the forest end the dance? I'm pretty sure that's what it does. The forest ends the dance, I think, so I'm not going to use the forest yet. So, yeah, that's her turn. Lucius, you, you still have an extra 1 AC, so, because Jade's right there. Yep. Time to clobber some more wolves! <laughs> I'll uh, attack the uh, wolf uh, to the left with my uh, short sword. Okay. That probably misses. That does. That definitely misses. Yep. I'll uh, try again. If it'll load. That hits. Okay, there we go. Hey. Five piercing. Five piercing. And then I think I'll do... Uh... Should I... Yeah, I'll do Flurry of Blows. Okay. Two more. So... Yep. Flurry some blooms. That definitely hits. 23. Or bludgeoning. Okay. And then next one. Yep. Yep. Five bludgeoning. Yep. So up. Yep. And uh, I think I'll keep him where he's at, so I'll just end it there with him. <sighs> Dorcas's turn. And uh, that only happens when he enters a rage, right? Yeah, when he enters rage. So he's, he's still got other things that he can do, though. Yeah. Uh, let's see, he has... Although, does the uh, tentacle thing last for multiple turns, or is it just one that... I, I need to look. It doesn't... I it doesn't could use it. I'm pretty sure it's the whole thing, though. Like... Uh, guys. What? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just... It's late. It's okay. I, I just want to finish this encounter at the very least. Yeah. If that's alright. Yeah, I can... I can manage that. Thanks. Okay.
Okay, Dorcas, um, this, 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 this still happens, I think, right? I believe so. I remember, like, I was able to, like, keep doing, like, uh, the spell that I got from... So within 30 as... feet of him, uh, all the creatures he chooses, um... Yeah. I remember, because last time I used him, I had, like, explosive fairies just explode every turn. <laughs> No, it, no, it really just says one unit to rage, so I'm, 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 that's that's a, that's a no. Okay. But what's this one do? I didn't know if that one was applied or not. He, he do be keeping the rage, though. He do have the rage, mm -hmm. though. So, uh, boom. That misses. Wait, yeah, is it advantage? No, it's not advantage. Nope. Surprisingly enough, that hits. Wow. Four bludgeoning damage. Not very good. But plus rage? Plus rage. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot to apply that. Rage damage is plus two, so that's actually six. Okay, so. Minus six. Oh, yeah, that, that hurts it. Okay, so that was his turn. Now it's Ragnar's turn. He's gonna try and get some of these guys off of here. <laughs> off of the yeah. house. All right, so first things first, rage damage. I gotta put that back on. And great axe to the one above, uh, Cerveza and Brutalis. Yep, that definitely hits. Four. <laughs> nice. That's a good amount of damage right there. So, uh, you do be killing though. And he's got another one. He is very tough. Oh my! He do be killing though. So it's uh, <laughs> ten damage. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, that that hurt it quite a bit. All right, so that's his turn. Now it's Evergreen's turn. Yep. Sadly, that hammer can't reach the uh, one that's right above Brutos, so I'll make it go diagonally to the right uh, twice and go after uh, this guy. One, two, right here. Yep. And it do be swinging. 17, nice. Yep. Whoops, I clicked on the description instead. Nine, Nine force four. damage. All right. And then... Do I really want to do Moonbeam now? <laughs> I don't think you want to with, with uh, yeah. them all there. I think it might be safe just to do like maybe another guiding bolt. Okay. Um I'll attack the one right above Brutalis. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fifteen radiant. Nice. Nice. And then uh <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> Move behind. <laughs> Be like, all right, Ulysses B. Tally Tanker. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because, like, actually, never mind. Not. But you're still within yeah. range of Jade, so you still got that one extra one you see. Yeah. I'll do anything to protect a fine lady. <laughs> fine lady, that's hilarious. That's. <laughs> Brutalis, it's your turn. So he's gonna stand back up. Okay, half your movement. Okay. And then there's still those three wolves around me? Yep. One right above. One <clears throat> above you, one next to you, one uh, below you. And they're all within hitting range, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're still prone, right? Oh, wait, never mind, not no. anymore. I mean, already used his, he's used half his movement to get up. Brutalis is going to be an angry Beyblade. <laughs> <laughs> let it rip. Yeah. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. So what's going on? <laughs> he's holding his hammer out, and he's just swinging in a whole circle. Wouldn't that hit Cerveza too? He's swinging well above Cerveza's head. Okay. 
Are you, able to, are you able to do that? Yeah, he is, technically. Okay. Go for it. Alright. Do you want me to roll the hit individually for all three? Yes. Or do you want... Okay. Alright. So, that's the first oh, yeah. one. That and one the has... one above you has... A... You have advantage on it. Like Alright. That was the one above him, so... Alright. That hits that's as the well. the one to the left. And that that's one the one below. Hit. Nice, they all hit. They all hit. And now I'm gonna burn one of my first level spell slots. Uh, that's eight, ten, and six. Uh, six just... going to the one above, ten to the one on the left, and then uh, four, no sorry, eight above, twelve left, and then uh, six Wait, below. This, this is six right here, so that's a ten and that's a four. Oh, like, uh, he's applying rage. Oh, rage yeah. stuff, okay, so... Yeah, eight above. Eight, eight, okay. Twelve to the one to my left. Second, I gotta get change the things. And you said twelve to the one to your left? Yeah, twelve to the left. And then six to the one below me. And... <sighs> and six to the one below you? Yep, and then... Okay. No, do you want me to? You know, you gonna just want the one divine smite for all three, or do you want me to roll one for each? Um, since it was all one swing, I'll say that just an extra twelve damage. All right, twelve damage to all three of them. Yeah, because it was all one swing, so I, I just need to hit the roll hit for the other ones, you know. So. All right, and then extra attack. Just He's second. just gonna keep on fucking spinning. Second, I gotta type it in first. Uh, spin to win. Minus Beyblade, Beyblade, 12. spin to win. Wait a minute. <laughs> Just a second. Um, this minus 12. Okay, that's got that much. And this. Now I can. Alright, and then... Extra attack. That misses. Uh, I... You roll for each of them. Yeah. Wait, that's the one above him, right? Yeah, yeah that's the one above me. So that has advantage. Oh boy, then so that, that hits. That hits, yeah. yeah. That's to the left. That hits. That's below. And that misses. Damn. Alright, so and then I'm going to one. burn... Another spell slot for another divine smite. Okay. You do be getting those. <laughs> All right. So that's to the one above. That's eight. Yep. Okay. So minus eight. Okay. That's to the left. That's fourteen. Ooh. That one's dead. Hey. And then adding an extra 10 damage on top of that. To, to the first one? Yeah. Then that one's dead too. Double kill. Good and God. Is going Double to kill. stop his spin and stare down the last wolf. There's two left, actually. Well, he's going to stare down the last one that survived his fucking onslaught. Oh, I see. There's, yeah, there's three left, technically, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll intimidation. <laughs> Okay. If you want to, I mean. That's a 19. Wow. Oh my. Okay, so I need to roll against that, so that's a, a wisdom save. Yeah, it's a wisdom save. It's... Yeah, it's scared. <laughs> it's scared of you. It's, uh, when it's, when it's its turn, it's gonna, it, it's, it's frightened of you right now. But it's, mm -hmm. it's, so it's gonna try to move away from you. When it's, hey, when hey, it's hey. its turn, I mean. Oh, we can try. Be afraid. Cerveza, your turn. Alright, bonus action. I am moving my Hunter's Mark to the Surviving Wolf down below there. Okay. And then I'm going to make a SPEAR ATTACK! Hooray! Yeah, poke, poke. Pokey, pokey. Yep, that hits. Oh, hell yeah. Pokey artichokey. <laughs> now, has that, has that one taken damage? Yeah, it has. Oh, yeah. 
I oh, clobbered boy. the absolute figgity fuck out of it. So it'll take an additional five damage, and then for my second attack against it. Second. Another teen <laughs> minus. That one hits, yeah. With an additional 11. And this. <laughs> boom, boom. So it took 42 total. Yeah, it, it's still alive though. Barely, but bloodied. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's now their turn. It's gonna try and attack uh, Cerveza because you just you just did a lot of damage to it. Yeah, true. Okay. <laughs> what? No, that's a nat twenty. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's a double damage right there. Do you want to step? <laughs> do you want to step in there, uh, Brutalis? Uh. Well, I mean, I don't have my channel divinity anymore. But yeah, I think he reaction. only has one. Oh darn! Yeah, you should have you should saved it. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, proximity. It's fine. So it's but ba ba Oh wait, that's actually okay. Boom. I, I feel sorry. So sorry for you. Oh no. <laughs> that's uh, not terrible. That, that's not ter that's not terrible. It, it, no, but you still really have to not. make a um, constant, uh, the strength saving throw be not prone. A strength saving throw to avoid being not prone. Okay. Yeah, or not be yet, or yeah, that's what I said. Okay, so. Yeah, you're hey. fine. You're fine. Okay. And I keep my concentration on the hunter's mark. Nice. Well, there's one. There's another one left. It's going right towards you too. It's gonna try and attack you. 20 plus 6. That misses, but it's got pack tactics. That also misses. 18 misses? Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, the yeah. shield. I got the <laughs> That shield, yeah, that's going to be useful. <laughs> Alright, so there's one left. It's this, it's this one. I try to attack uh, Uisis. Alright, so. Bring it on, you ruffian! That missed. I think that misses. You ruffian! Yeah, yeah I'll rust and tumble you. So <laughs> what's his what's his AC? Uh, currently eighteen. Because of the because of Jay's dance. Yep. Okay. Yep, that's their turn. It's it's pretty useful that that Jade has that 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 thing. Mhm. Mm All right, it's so like, yep, turn. I'm just gonna stay around her. <laughs> <laughs> Aether, your turn. The the counter is almost done. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, dead inside. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, uh, more of the same. Actually, not so... close enough. Uh, over here. Yeah, I'm okay. just gonna just gonna kind of just if I can fucking change. There, uh, I'm gonna move and I'm just gonna punch him because you know what? It's been a while. You can move over to here with where Jade is. Still get that that, that AC benefit. Oh yeah. Plus one AC. Also, yeah. that hits. Sweet. That's seven bullshit. Uh, let's see, minus seven. Yep. That hurts it. It's bloody. I guess I can do another because we're probably going to long rest after this. Yeah, in the tents, probably. Uh, and then just punch yep, the that fucking hits. lights out. And. Yeah, it's hurting quite a bit. It's bloodied. It's like oh, more and more than before. <laughs> and now it's Jade's turn. She's gonna uh, tell you to duck. <laughs> uh, actually, no. I'm gonna have her use a crossbow instead, and, like aim around you. Okay. I, I don't know. But... I, I, actually, I, I got a better idea. I got a better. The idea. arrow just swerves. <laughs> Dog, she, she, where? She, she, she curves the arrow. <laughs> uh, it's whatever. I, I, I was going to say is that, uh, let's see, what's the fifth one? Okay, so she's going to um, do something different. Do you realize uh, how she's going to insult this dog? Oh, she's going to do something different. Wow. I'm kidding. I'm joking, by the way. It's 
He's gonna make the wolf feel bad. Okay, uh, okay, you. Your brain shutting down. You're stu you're you're a stupid winter wolf. I think you should be doggone. Die. That's a terrible really? joke. You're That's the best game. you've got. <laughs> He's actually gonna yell back. That's a terrible joke. You should feel yeah. ashamed. And I've heard some <laughs> bad jokes in my day. Your so, joke was bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> I'm hoping that the winter wolf still feels worse, though. Your talk was bad and you should feel bad. Yep. <laughs> so it's 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 a plus one to to its um wisdom check, right? To wisdom? Yeah, wisdom. I think. It succeeded. Oh no. Part of me still feels like <laughs> See, even the wolf thinks your <laughs> insult sucked. I I'm gonna I'm gonna just make it do a face paw. <laughs> Does she even have paws? The winter, no, have winter, paws. The winter wolf. The winter wolf. <laughs> the winter wolf. Um, the winter wolf. This face pawing. Yeah, <laughs> it was just a bad joke. <laughs> like he did. Like I understood what she said, kind of thing. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or at least she understood her tone. You know. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. And... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, I'll give it a whirl. I'll try to swing at the wolf. The short sword. I really want to kill this thing because I have a funny idea of a kill with Ulysses. All right, the roll for it oh, though. No. Yep. Eighteen. Seven damage. A. Uh, second attack. Nice. Seven again. Still alive? Nope. Oh, it's dead? It's dead. Gotta kill it. Hey! Alright. Alright, time for a uh, secret martial art technique that uh, Ulysses. <laughs> Only, like, Ulysses would know how to do this. So, uh. What's he doing? He, uh, he, uh, punches his fist, uh, through the, uh, wolf's, uh, butthole. Um. Oh he, my god. Uh, this he uh, picks it up, up off the ground, jumps up, slams the wolf down, like moves his arm like he's using like a key, <laughs> and it's, uh, but and it somehow anything here. And it somehow splits into like five pieces, and that's how it dies. I hate you. I mean, <laughs> he, I mean, he's a monk, so of course he uses a key. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I mean, that was my secret assassinate technique. I want you dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, with his really smelly head, he's, like, uh, looking over to, like, Evergood. He's like, high five! And she's like, ew, get away from me, freak! <laughs> and ironically, <laughs> jump off a cliff. <laughs> Dorcas's turn. Okay, he's gonna... He's got three, five... Next time I'll kill them with my explosive diarrhea attack. Oh, 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 shut the hell up! Dear <laughs> Lord! God, I cannot stand you! You are the most insufferable individual! No, he's he's copying Arthur. He's copying Arthur. He's practicing I've also got a technique Arthur. called the butt crack. I want you dead. I want your head mounted on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Dorcas is going to attack with the, his, his, his Warhammer again. Boom. That misses. Boom. That also, wait, that hits. That hits. <laughs> I was going to say that also misses. But you I were so confident it was going to miss. <laughs> Aw, I wanted that to kill, but it didn't. Murder. Oh, well. That's its turn. His turn. Ragnar's turn. He's going to go right up to this guy. And kill it, straight up. I'm confident this will this will hit. I also guess I want. I also get a nat one, of course. Nope. So, yep, this thing's dead. How does it kill it? The same way you kill the other one. Slice his head off and chops into little pieces. With great prejudice. <laughs> great prejudice. And that's our concern. Can't forget the great prejudice. Oh, no, it's my turn. Yeah. Aw, oh, frick. I don't think the hammer reaches. <laughs> no. Uh. Hmm. There's only one left. 
Yeah, is it damaged? Nope. Ah, okay. Uh... Eh, I'm not gonna get too fancy. I know, like, I see, like, Brutalis is super angry and upset, so I'll just let him beat the shit crap out of it. <laughs> so, I think, uh, I'll hit it with a, uh, Toll the Dead. Okay. What's that do? Um, it deals, uh, 2d8, uh, necrotic damage if it hits. Um, it would deal, uh, 2d12s if it was damaged. And it was damaged. No, was it? This Wait, one was. This both, this no, this this, this this one was over here before. Oh, okay, right. Oh, that's right. So it needs yeah. to make a wisdom save, and if it succeeds, no damage. Yep. It do be that save and suck though. It yeah. Sucked. <laughs> that's an eight. Six, Sixteen was the save, so it didn't make it. Okay. How much so... did it take? Twelve. Ten necrotic damage. Uh, okay. Ten necrotic damage. Okay. And then, uh, for lulls, I'll just, like, move the hammer diagonally, uh, to the right, down and right, uh, twice, just so it gets closer. I'll move right here, then. Yeah, trying to move it just closer to the wolf. I'll move it this thing up here so you can see your thing better. Yeah. Now it's Brutalis' turn. Getting closer. That's the last one, by the way, so... Mm -hmm. Bertalis, you're up. <clears throat> Bertalis? Bertalis? Yeah, I'm here. Your turn. He is going to channel just the last bit of anger he has into this sling. Okay. And then I'm going to burn another spell slot. All damage first. Oh, of course. 12. <laughs> okay. Plus another 9. Oh. Okay. Still alive. Yep. Oh my god. And then I'm going to burn my last spell slot. Okay. Plus eight. No, uh, fourteen. That's a fourteen bludgeon. Yeah, I know. Oh, and, and also then... the. Don't forget that the plus two from rage. I did. Yeah. Okay. And it's. It's bloodied. All right. That's your turn, because now, so now it's Cerveza's turn. All right. So the hunter's mark is getting moved to this wolf, and I'm just gonna look at him like I am so sorry for you. I am so very sorry for you. Yeah, that hits. Oh. Seven. Plus eight. And then for my second attack. Yep. What the fuck? Wow. This dude be sucking though. Oh. What's that last? What's that last one? Uh, an additional six damage. Well, like six damage plus six damage. So. From the um, hunter's mark. Yeah, from the hunter's mark and the colossus slayer. Okay, yeah, it's dead now. Oh hell yeah! Nice. It, it was going to be a one hit point if you didn't do the extra damage. Excellent. So it get with this death. What I do is I jab it in the throat with my spear, then just kind of. Slide beneath it, drag it all the way down. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's all of them. Oh, and surveys is like on the other side of it now. So here's the thing: they were going to try to run away as soon as it was their turn. <laughs> Not anymore. No mercy. Yep. All right. So um, obviously, I'm guessing you guys want to rest up the camp. Mm -hmm. Well, Brutalis, still fucking fuming, is going to uproot this little tree and just chuck it. <laughs> okay, roll me that a strength check. unnecessary. Roll yep, I'm staying away from that. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to agree. Meanwhile, Cerveza just digs in the wolf, pulls out his heart, and eats it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, 
It's just right. you be who think. Right now, just like like um, admires that Ceres just did that, and Dorka's like, ugh. <laughs> Hey, you want you gotta have the, can I have one of the legs? <laughs> right now, says he's got, he's a little just, like he's a little like Cerveza, a little bit. He just twists and rips it out, tosses the leg to him. He takes it. Oh, that, nice! I'll cook this up and eat for dinner. <laughs> just Cerveza of halfway through the heart. What's cooking? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> I could eat this raw, but I'd rather keep my, my sandy. <laughs> Aether is just gonna, like, very exhaustedly trudge over to a tent and go lie down in it. Yeah. Alright, okay. those of you, you know, you use the tents or the fire pit or whatever around there to cook stuff and all that stuff. You, you, you get a long rest. Because there's no, oh, no, nice. more, no, more, no more danger on here. <laughs> hey, Dorcas, after battle, high five. Alrighty then. Uh, he, he says, <laughs> "Oh no!" <laughs> I, 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 that was head smells like shit. <laughs> oh, wait, oh wait, you! I thought you were saying Evergreen. I thought. You, oh no no no! He was saying Dorcas. He was like, like after battle high five. Knowing Marcus, he'd do it anyways. <laughs> 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 what a man! Be <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of be to be expected with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I get my dances back. I get um, all that stuff. You got your, you know, your health back. You know all that everything. All spells, okay. Yeah. All okay. Right. So we're gonna, we're we're gonna knit there. And I'm uh, going to bed. Yeah. Have uh, a nice one, everybody. Yeah. See y'all later. And uh, see these men. The rest of you. Uh, yeah. I hope you had fun with this little side. Oh yeah, had so a bless. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You guys got some cool stuff, and you get to use it later on in the mine. <laughs> and I, it wasn't terribly hard because you got the two extra, you know, mercenaries with you. Yep. The barbarian bros. Barbar they're not even really brothers. It's yeah, they just fight along each side. Each they're other like, they're, along. they're 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 not blood brothers. They're but they're like uh, what's it called? Uh. Like a soul brother, I guess. Blood brother. Oh, whatever. Um, Sometimes they're called blood brothers. It really is called blood brother? brother? Sometimes. Just a good Papa Roach song. <laughs> well, either way, uh, I hope you all have fun, and I'm going to stop the recording there. See y'all later. Okay. Bye. Until next time. Take care. <laughs>